you've had problems? Well, I mean, I know, I know Robbie was a collector from uh, very active in the, the art world, his foundation, collection, whatnot. So, I don't know where it comes from, but I'm, most artists have very specific ideas about how they live, what the studio environment should look like and feel like. I don't think I'm different from other artists in that regard. Um, I've been lucky that I've been able to explore customized spaces with a, with a number of different architects that feel very, uh, um, it's just part of life. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the, the most difficult things for an architect is to design without a client. Because when you design without a client, uh, you somehow have your own mind only to deal with. And instead, when you have a client, you have this back and forth that somehow uh, uh, nourish the creativity. The creativity. So uh, all the, the conversation with uh, David, beside the fact that we visit uh, Matt, we visit uh, David House, and enjoy the design of his house. Uh, it basically brought us to uh, evolve this first phase of the concept of this house in the way that is evolving right now. And, and it's so interesting to have David as a client because he's, he's a creative person. When I'm making a painting, which is, if it interests me, it will interest other people as well. And I, I, I mean, they're different other people. So if it's a house that suits my sensibility of my needs, uh, with a practical, aesthetic, spatial way to feel simpatico 